What up, people? My name is Terrell Harris from TheOpenBox.com, where our vision is to make wholeness more accessible. So what I wanted to talk about today is how to pray to get results. So one of the things I've realized about prayer in terms of, you know, how we actually hear back from God or, or how things actually come to fruition is we have to be co-authors or co-creators with God. Now, I know this may sound a little radical to some people. Uh, oftentimes, you know, when I, when I listen to, you know, certain preachers and certain ministers on the, on the radio, you know, what we hear is you hear trust in the Lord, lean not on your own understanding, you know, wait on the Lord. You hear all these things like blessings are actually going to fall out of the sky. Now, you know, there are some things we pray for, such as healing, such as miracles, where you, you know, you receive something from God and, it's, it, you know, it happens without any, any involvement from you. But a lot of things we pray for, we actually have to take uh, some actions on our side. So, say one one of the, one of the things I've been praying for lately is I want to become a better public speaker. All right. So, guess what I'm gonna have to do? Um, along with you know expecting a blessing from God, I'm gonna have to shoot more video. I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna have to write. And as I do those things and kind of co-author or, or walk with God in my prayer, I have no doubt you know I'll become a better public spe speaker. So, you know, um, even in terms of looking at, you know, people who struggle with health issues. So I know, you know, I've seen people, you know, blame the devil for diabetes and high blood pressure and, and things along, along that lines. You know, some of that stuff is, is um, inherited from our, our parents or from our family. But oftentimes, you know, our health issues or concerns are related to poor eating habits. So along with... Uh, you know, prayer as it relates to, you know, fixing our uh, physical conditions, we also need to take steps um, as it relates to that as well. So, guess what? Maybe we have to cut out the salty foods. We have to cut out the bacon, the turkey sausage, and I'm naming all things I had to cut out because I have high blood pressure. So, when I, you know, had my blood, high blood pressure issue, I couldn't just say, hey, God, remove this from me, and I'm going to continue to eat a whole bu bunch of bacon and put salt in all of my foods. I actually had to kind of give up some stuff. So, you know, you know, God actually gave me this. Nah, he didn't give me it. God didn't give me the strength for that. I just kind of did it, and I still kind of miss it. I still miss that turkey sausage, but I had no choice. But, you know, as a result of co-authoring with God, guess what? I don't have high blood pressure anymore. So um, the second thing I want to point out is as we co-author with God, some of the things we actually should do to pray to get results is actually start keeping track of our prayers and as we keep track of our prayers, what you can do is journal. You write your prayers down, whether, whether you're going to say the same prayers over again or whether you're going to write prayers daily. And then what you do is after maybe a week or, or, or two um, or maybe even a month, what I want you to do is track to see where God is answering your prayers and how God is actually moving. Now, of course, we can never really track the movement of God and track the movement of the Holy Spirit. But I do believe that God speaks to us in certain ways, and sometimes God will repeat those methods of, of, of speech to us as it relates to answering our prayers. So um, if once you see God move um, and you're able to understand how God speaks to you, whether it's a feeling, whether it's uh, emotions, whether it's actually getting words from some, somebody else, whether it's actually through reading or through music, then you'll understand you know, how, actually, how God is actually reaching you and... Um, you know, for us to actually get results and, and not, you know, bump, you know, not bump our heads on things that we're looking for or things that we're begging God to do. Uh, when we know or hear the voice of God and we can understand, you know, the voice of God and we recognize the voice of God in our lives, it makes things a little bit easier in terms of waiting, in terms of, you know, when to actually move and when not to move. And, you know, to give us more confidence in our faith. So those are the two ways to pray to get results. What I want you to do is comment below. How are you getting results in your prayers? Are you just sitting and waiting? Are you co-authoring with God? And are you actually keeping track of how God speaks to you? Write in the comments below. Uh, I am, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Mr. Terrell Harris. We want you to also visit the website, theopenbox.com, and hit the subscribe button. Peace and blessings. I am gone.